Hi, my name is Joseph Rudis, and I'm the general manager for Andy Man of America. We're an ACE certified on oil, as well as in gas. We're also indoor air quality certified, and also we're, we're lead safe practice certified. Here, we're in a, uh, the basement of a church, and we're gonna be converting these two well McLean oil boilers into gas. We're gonna do that by uh, replacing the burners and uh, cleaning the inside as well as uh, making some modifications so that these units will become more efficient. Uh, we're looking at this beautiful, beautiful church uh, that uh, we're doing an oil to gas conversion for. And uh, as you can see, uh, this is a, uh, a turn of the century work of art. And uh, if you look over there, that part uh, opens up and it, it becomes uh, an extension of the sanctuary. And so um, aside from the oil to gas conversion, uh, from an energy efficiency point of view, uh, we'd like to uh, install also air conditioning for this uh, church. And um, the way we approach that is uh, for this particular environment where there is no room to, uh, to, do, uh, to provide ducts, uh, we, uh, we think that the Unico air handler system is the best approach because what the Unico air handler system will deliver is uh, not, not only fuel as heating, but uh, as well as cooling and uh, ventilation. Ventilation is very, very important for this type of building because uh, downstairs, uh, there's a very large area in the basement which the church is converting into ch children's classrooms and uh, there's no ventilation there. So any other system, uh, mini split or uh, other types of systems are not going to provide the, the same efficiency for ventilating as well as uh, a, a Unico air handler because the Unico air handler will support, like I said, all three, cooling, heating, as well as uh, ventilation and the way we approach that is uh, uh, with the Unico system it uses a small duct high velocity uh, tubes that that are underneath will be underneath the flooring of this church and uh, they'll be uh, built all around the sides of the church uh, and um, well the return system will be uh, somewhere in the middle over here and what, what that will do is uh, distribute the air properly, whether it's cooling, heating, or ventilation. And since, it, since we're going to be using fuelless heating, fuelless heating is based on a refrigerant system where the refrigerant is, uh, during the, the, the colder months, um, it's sent outside to boil. And, and when it boils, it creates heat. And uh, when it creates heat, all we do is circulate that, circle, circulate that back into the building and they have fuelless heating that's very highly efficient, uh, much, much higher than any fossil fuel, fossil fuel could provide, well over 100%. Uh, some of them approaching, you know, 400% uh, to air source thermal. And uh, if they utilize this approach, um, what the chairs will encounter is, is maximum savings on their investment because in a very short period of time, the units will pay for themselves. And, um, and then the church will have money for other means uh, you know, to, uh, pursue, to further pursue their agenda. And here we are, we're disassembling one of the church boilers that's leaking. And we're gonna replace it with a gas boiler. And here, we have uh, disconnected the boiler, uh, supported the pipes overhead so that uh, it doesn't uh, produce any stress upon it. And uh, you can see the metal sleeves from the oil boiler. We're gonna recycle